In this video, I'm going to work on this assignment, 3.1.2, Creating Flowcharts. In particular, we're going to work on this assignment, Creating a Flowchart that shows how to pour a glass of milk. It's on page 16 of the slide set. Start out by opening Chrome and sign on to your Google account. You'll know if you're signed in if you have your avatar here in the upper right hand corner. Once you're signed in, select this icon, your Google Apps. Select Drive. Select New. Select More. Select Google Drawings. Select File, Page Setup, select Custom, set the width to 8.5 and the height to 11, and select OK. Select Shapes. You'll be working with these shapes here at the bottom. Select this shape, the Terminator. Place it approximately in the center. Notice you could grab the shape and move it around. And that when it's aligned with the center of the page, this red line appears. Center it on the page. Double click on the shape and type in start. Select this icon align and choose center. Select another shape. This process shape. Place it. Drag it so that it aligns with the center of the page. Double click on the shape and enter some text. Center it. Choose your line tool. Pull down the menu and select arrow. Point to this vertice on this shape and drag the line down to this vertice on this other shape. Change the line width to 3. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to choose my zoom tool. I'm going to select another shape. Input output or data. I'm going to place it here double click on it and type in data. If you notice if you grab these grips on the side you could stretch it and widen it. Select your line tool, your arrow tool, select this vertice, grab this vertice and attach it to this data shape. If I grab the shape the line should move with it like this. Select the line again, right mouse button, select change connector, and select elbow connector, and your line should look like this now. And if you move your shape, the line should change with it. I'm going to go back to shapes and choose my decision shape. Make it a bit bigger. Center it. Double click on it and enter decision. You may need to resize it to get the text to fit. I'm 
I'm going to add two more of these shapes. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to select it. Copy. Paste. Paste. And place one here. Line it up with this diamond with the decision shape. Place this one here. Line it up like that. I'm going to select the arrow and copy and paste. Three times. Select this arrow, move it down here, and I'm going to line up the vertices with the blocks. I'm going to add yes or no onto this decision block like it's shown on the slide set. Create a text. Just type in yes. And another text. Type in no. I'm going to resize these, make them small. I'm going to place this here. You can use your arrow keys to move it around and center it. Now, if I were to move this block, the text is not attached to it, so we, the text would not move. I want to group them. Uh, select the diamond shape, the decision symbol. Select your control key and select the text. And then you'll have all three items selected by holding down the control key. Right mouse button and group them. And so they're, now they're grouped. And if I move the diamond, the, uh, all, the two texts should move with it. Change the title of your drawing. Call it 3.1.2 flowchart pouring milk. Hit enter. Notice that you don't have to save your file. That uh, if you notice this here, it says that all your changes are saved to the drive automatically. Inspect your work. Go to File. Download as PDF and store the PDF document in your Documents folder and submit your flowchart to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.